In this Dragonfly 3 training video, we're going to look at the Flip Rotate control panel. For this demonstration, I have two different micro CT scans loaded. They're both scans of a Zeiss Dual Energy Phantom collected on a Zeiss X Radia Versa. The Flip Rotate panel is usually found on the main tab unless you've undocked it and moved it somewhere else. The Flip Rotate panel allows you to change the currently selected view and how it appears on screen. It will only affect the currently selected view. You can normally tell which view is selected because there's a tiny outline. If I click this view, you can see that it has a tiny outline. If I click this view, you can see it is now selected. The view that is selected, if I want to change how it appears on screen, I can, for example, apply a horizontal flip. This will apply a mirror transform across the middle of the image, and it only affects this image. Likewise, I can apply a vertical flip, and I can undo that vertical flip. The next two buttons on the control panel allow me to rotate the current view by 90 degrees, either 90 degrees clockwise or 90 degrees counterclockwise. I can click the button as many times as I like. If I click it four times, I'm back to where I started. The last button on the control panel is similar to these two buttons that apply clockwise and counterclockwise rotations. But whereas these apply 90 degree rotations, this applies a rotation of an arbitrary value. The value is determined by this text entry box. If I put in the value 5, every time I click this button, the current view will be rotated 5 degrees. If I enter the value minus 5, it will be minus 5 degrees, or 5 degrees counterclockwise. All of this behavior can also apply to the 3D window, a horizontal flip or a vertical flip, a 90 degree rotation or an arbitrary in-plane rotation of 5 degrees or negative 5 degrees, etc. Now, if I choose to click the reset button on manipulate, I will reset to my initial view. Now I see that I'm back in my initial view. I want to draw your attention now to an issue that emphasizes the order of the slices as they appear. So for example, if we look at this view, we see that it has the, the z-axis going up and down. If we look at the z-axis, we can actually tell if I drag this all the way up, I'm changing this view. And so all the way at the top, this is slice number one in z. And if I drag all the way down, this is slice number 401 in z. So this tells you that the z origin for this initial view is at the top and it ascends as it goes down. If I do the vertical flip, then it has the opposite, so that this is now 1, and this is now 401. This can be controlled. Sometimes users prefer to have the origin at the bottom when they start Dragonfly instead of at the top. So if you happen to look into the preferences, and you look into views, you can then go into 2D settings and you will see that for the z-axis I have it set as ascending which means from the top to the bottom it ascends so that's why it goes from 1 to 401. If I wanted the opposite behavior I could I could click this radio button. Likewise you can control the x and y axis view orientations as well. The final issue I want to note is when I'm applying a rotation it's very important to understand whether it's a rotation or a, tra or a mirror flip I am applying it to the view and I'm not changing the data. I have two data sets here and so you can see that when I rotate, let's do it on the NPR view, you can see the rotation affects the scene. This is very different from if I have a data set selected and I choose to rotate a data set, for example with the move. This is moving an object inside my workspace or inside my scene and that's very different from moving the, the view of the scene. So it's very important to understand that the flip rotate panel affects how you are seeing the scene. It doesn't actually manipulate any of the objects or scene elements or move those inside the scene. So that shows you the flip rotate panel and that concludes this demonstration. Thank you.